Hi, today I'm in Garden Grove, uh, California, and I'm on my trek across the country. And I have here Diana from Needlepoint LTD. And uh, uh, we've all been through lots of interesting things during the pandemic. Um, what are some interesting things that have happened to you during the pandemic? Well, I have found that people have gone back to stitching, which is good. I think, honestly, everyone should stitch every day <laughs> yes. because it's good mental therapy and uh, it just brings you joy. So um, lots of pretty colors and threads and fabrics. Um, just it's a good good way to heal after you've had a hard day i think so. i think the fact that it's a good stress reliever mm -hmm. especially during this very very stressful period of time exactly. uh, a lot of people have been finding this has been very relaxing for them and calming calming the heart calming the soul Cal calming the soul your yoga for the your mind right so if you can stitch you'll be much a much happier person and more sane in these trying times excellent so I'm gonna take a sweep around here to show your shop. Uh, you have a lot of threads here. This is a, a candy store for the eye. So, and you, and you deal in uh, cross stitch and in needlepoint. Yes, so I have cross stitch fabric and threads for cross stitch and needlepoint, hand painted canvases. These are some bags that I've, um, project oh, bags nice. that I've been selling. And then I've also, because of the pandemic, I've also um, delved into hand dyeing my own fabrics. Oh, so, excellent, excellent. Um, just another way to keep busy and yeah. pivot during this uh, pandemic year. Yes, yeah, so everybody is pivoting to doing all sorts of mail order, uh, dyeing fabrics, and, and these dyed fabrics can also be used in quilting too. Yes. I saw some quilted pieces here. Yes. Well, thank you for having me in. And I will continue my trek across the country. Thanks. Okay, and hopefully we'll get more crying again soon. Excellent. Very good. Thank Bye. you.